This video is going to show you how I backstitch my quilts. Once again, it's a very simple stitch. Um, I've threaded my needle. I don't have a knot in it. I start off by putting the needle and thread through the, the layers of the quilt, not going through to the backing, but putting the thread actually through the wadding in the middle. And I leave a, a tail, which I've just dragged through that hole there, but the tail of the thread is lying in there. And then I start off by going back a stitch length away from where the thread has come up. So in your mind you have to have the length of the stitch that you're going to make in your mind. And I've come up, the needle has come up a stitch length away from where the thread is. So I put that first stitch in. I've got a length of thread actually lying under there so I didn't need an, a, a, a knot in it and I've made my first stitch. Now I'm going to go back down into the hole of the previous stitch and come up again a stitch length away from where the thread is and pull the thread through. And now I've got two stitches exactly the same size. I'm going to go down again and up again a stitch length away and that's how you do it. Now a lot of people ask me why the stitches on the reverse of my quilt never look like backstitch because you often have very long and untidy looking stitches if you do backstitches. And the secret is that you always put your needle down at a 90 degree angle when you put it through the hole of the previous stitch. By doing that you actually split the stitch that's underneath so that when you turn it over, it looks as though it's backstitched underneath as well as on the top. And I know this to my cost because many a time judges have complimented me on my machine quilting when it has been hand backstitched. <laughs> 